Hi y'all, I'm bored and uh, quite frankly, uh, I have a lecture in 30 minutes and I have some time to kill, so we're gonna find the 50th derivative of x minus one, drawing out every single intermediate step to get there. Let's begin. <coughs> okay, so uh, the first derivative, that's going to equal uh, negative x to the negative second. Uh, finding the second derivative, that gives us 2x to the negative 3. Uh, now we're on to the third. Why do I need to know what 2 times 3 is? What the hell? What's wrong with me? Hi, Karamba. Okay. Uh, it's already starting to get a little nuts. Sorry if my notation's wrong. I'm trying to go fast here. That's going to give us 24x to the negative fifth. negative 120x to the negative 6. I am going to mess up a lot, so bear with me, please. Uh, the sixth derivative... Seven twenty x to the negative 7th. My marker's dying. Is this one better? Eh, well, we'll use it until it dies, right? Uh, The seventh derivative, 720 times negative seven, negative 5,040 x to the negative eighth. Eighth derivative, holy shit. Oh, my arm's getting a little tired, y'all. 4032x to the negative 9. We'll start using scientific notation uh, when we get to that. Ninth derivative. Alright, from now on, I'm not using exact values. Marcus fucking toast. I missed. Damn it. Okay. Damn, all the fucking markers want to die. Whatever. Come on. One of these got to work. Bloody hell. Okay. Alright, so then this comes out to, we'll call it, Times 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, uh, to the 7th x to the negative 11th. All right. <laughs> what the fuck has my life come to? Negative uh, 11, negative 3.99 times 10. I'll actually write approximate because these are approximate values. That we're going on now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I wish my calculator would put this in notation that I could understand or just go a little faster, right? That would be nice. Um, the 12th derivative is roughly equal to 4.79 times 10, and it should be. Uh, to the 9x to the negative 13th. All right, uh, we're on to the 13th derivative, which is negative 6.23 times 10 to the 10, uh, and that would also be x to the negative 14th. The, four, the 14th derivative is is 
is going to be equal to, and we have to times it by negative 14. Yes, my calculator is finally giving me scientific notation. Jesus Christ. God bless. Oh, that was hell. Okay, now we can start to pick up the pace here. Uh, the 15th derivative uh, times negative 15. Negative 1.31 times 10 to the 12. X to the negative 16. Uh, the 16th derivative buddy oh, 2.09 times 10 to the 13th x to the negative 17th times negative 17 the 17th derivative is negative 3.5 or, sorry, I meant to be using roughly 3.56 times 10 to the 14th, x to the negative 18th, times negative 18. Oop, that's a 7, should be a 17. Uh, the 18th derivative, oh, I keep fucking it up, what the hell, is roughly equal to. 6.40 times 10 to the 15th, x to the negative, that should, yeah, this is an 8, wasn't very obvious, uh, to the negative 19, let me just make sure y'all can see, alright, I'm gonna shift over the camera just a tad, so I don't lose y'all, alright, moving on, uh, the 19th derivative, Negative 1.21 times 10 to the 17th, x to the negative 20th. Or at rep 20, we need to go five more. So the 20th derivative times negative 20, 2.43 times 10 to the 18th, x to the negative 21. All right, last little row bit here. What am, how am I looking on time? Oh, I can go further. I'm going to go 30. Fuck that. Yeah. So, uh, the 21st derivative. Oh, my God. Woo! Negative 21 equals negative 5.11 1 times 10 to the 19th x to the negative 22nd times negative 22. The 22nd derivative of our function is uh, approximately equal to 1.1 1 1.12 times 10 to the 21st x to the negative 23rd times negative 23. 23rd derivative of our function is roughly equal to negative 2.59 times 10 to the 22nd x to the negative 24th. 24th derivative. Sorry if I'm like blocking your, your view, guys. This is where we're at. 24, 24x is approximately equal to uh, and then, oopsies, there's my spot here. Times negative 24, 6.20 times 10 to the 23rd. Uh, and then that's x to the negative 25th times negative 25. Our 25th derivative here. is equal to, roughly equal to negative 1.55 times 10 to the 25th. And then times, and then x to the negative 26. This is driving me up the fucking wall, I'll tell you. 26, our 26th derivative is roughly equal to 4.03 times 10 to the 26th power, x to 
uh, the negative 27th uh, times negative 27, our 27th derivative is roughly equal to negative 1.09 times 10 to the 28th power, x to the negative 28th. All right, times negative 28, that makes, that makes this 3.05 times 10 to the 29, x to the negative 29th, times negative 29. We're almost there, guys, woohoo. Uh, why am I blanking? 20, 29th derivative. This is so fucking mind numbing, guys. Uh, 29x is roughly equal to negative 8.84 times 10 to the 30, x to the negative 30th. And for our final derivative, uh, d30 over d30x is equal to two, roughly equal to 2.65 times 10 to the 32nd power. Holy crap. That's, third, that's the 30th derivative of x to the negative first, a very practical means of getting to that answer. Thank you guys for watching.